back to the 85 South, so... My bad. 85 uh, South show. I've been smoking on them backwoods backstage, uh -oh. you know? <laughs> we backstage with Backwoods in the lounge. Carlos Miller, I'm Bree Renee, straight from the A. And, of course, we got uh, another dope performer that just hit the stage here at One Music Fest, Shmino. Shmino! What's happening, my boy? Hey, I don't know if y'all know this, but this is one of the busiest artists in the game. I have booked this guy to come and be on the show 22 times. <laughs> he got photo shoots. He got flights. He got video shoots. He on tour. He, he in the studio. He working, man. Yeah. How does it feel to be over here, man, at one music fest, hitting the stage and blessing the crowd with, with them hits, man? Shit, I, fuck with, I love Atlanta, you feel me? So one music fest called, it's like, uh, my manager just told me the other day that uh, Atlanta like my top streaming city. Come on. And all that, so you feel me? Hold up, we're going to celebrate everything Atlanta yeah, around here. For sure, for sure. Everything Atlanta around here. For sure, bro. for sure. Man, this one of them cities that when they like you, they love you, man. So yeah, yeah. what does that feel like to be at a home away from home and, and still be get the same love and respect as an artist? You know this shit feels just like St. Louis, bro. Like Atlanta is just bigger, you know, a bigger city, but... It's, it's fire, bro. It's, it's fire. It's black love. It's a little different, like, when your own fuck with you, too. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah. Like, niggas can go all around the world and shit, but, like, you come back to your niggas, like, and they fuck with you, that's, like, the, the highest honor to me. Yeah. Straight up. I don't say, as an artist, is that important to you for Atlanta to fuck with you and rock with you because it is represented by so many blacks in the culture? Yeah, yeah. It's a top market. Yeah. For sure, for sure. Most definitely. And Fabo from here. Fabo. Yeah, yeah, I love Fabo. <laughs> Everybody do. On me. Fabo How could you not love Fabo? Yeah, when you nah. fall in love with Fabo, what was that moment for you? When that nigga uh, start singing Tatted Up like that. And <laughs> he said, end. Barbara. I was like, oh, shit. Bro, I had him on the show and I asked him who Barbara was. Do you know what Barbara he was talking about? Who? His Barbara Bush. Why? He said he just felt like she'd be tatted up and nobody would know her. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm thinking Barbara is some lady he dealing with. This is an old like white his, lady. I thought it was his grandma name, because that's my grandma name. No, ain't That's what I thought. I that thought that's nigga. the old black lady grandma name. And you well, know, because that's everybody's favorite before I ask him straight. Like, Who okay. is Barbara? He's Barbara Bush. No hesitation, man. <laughs> that nigga special, bro. Really? Legend. <laughs> bro, he, he is, I don't want to say a mascot, because I don't want to say, like, but he is, like, the, the, the image that I think of when I think of Atlanta. He is so Atlanta, bro. I feel it. I definitely can second it. I feel it. D4L, all that, like, Shout for real. Know, all oh, God. Right, yeah. Straight up. I love that part of I Atlanta. I got a song, one of my biggest songs, called Z4L. Z4L. Yeah, because it's like, you know, I, I love them. I love Fabo on me. Man, what's what's one of your favorite D4L songs, bro? Um, I mean, my favorite D4L song is Laffy Taffy, probably. Laffy Taffy. You remember how the impact that that one had when it when it came out and it like saying like overnight yeah. everything was snapped then. Yeah, snap music in general. Yeah, I miss snap music. Hey man, y'all producers start sending snap beats, bro. All them Atlanta producers, man, y'all need to bring that snap music shit back, man. The world got the dance shit, man. Y'all need to bring y'all dance shit back. Bro. Bring, bring snap, snap music yeah. back. Yeah, I think I think that's gonna save the world, bro. bro Niggas that, ain't dancing like like you know what I mean. It made it snap fun. music gonna save the world, bro. We need snap music back, bro. Save the world. Now, Trust you know, we had a lot of local snap hits, yeah. too, that didn't never get the, they the credit they deserved. They didn't outside the city, but it was popping in the clubs in Atlanta. I got right, you remember them. the Getaway Boys? Absolutely. She wanted G. <laughs> Man, you got to make a snap music playlist so, we, like, the people that don't know, like, the people that, like, you know, the Atlanta, the real Atlanta yeah. shit. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm from St. Louis. I want to know about the, like, you know what I'm saying, snap shit y'all, like, when y'all was at the parties type shit. You got some new artists that's trying to do that now, like, with Duke Deuce. It's more on the crunk side of, is that era, no, but it's still dancing. No, he more snap. He and this. I feel you on that, because that, that music was easy to listen to. Yeah. The song could be about anything long as you could hear. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm, kids I'm could listen it. to it. Yeah. It was safe for everybody. The yeah. kids are the ones who really made it go. Yeah. Oh, God. Are there any other Atlanta artists that you would love to collaborate with or work with? Um, it could be somebody that's not doing nothing now or like an OG in the game or somebody recent. You put me on the spot. I don't even know off top right now. I ain't gonna even hold you. But uh, I, I for sure wanna work with Andre 3000 one day. Yeah, that's like, dope. But that's, everybody if probably gonna say that one. Andre to make some music. I, no. Bro, I, I don't, I'm at this point, 
I would listen to Andre 3000 on a whole album playing that flute. Oh, God. Whatever that instrument is that he walks around, I, that he got to make an album of that. Nah, for sure. He got like an African flute, like some that, yeah, that it's wooden Yeah, woodwind or yeah. an oboe or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he probably about to drop one. Hey, man, social media loves you and your music, bro. What does it feel like to be one of those ones that got handpicked by such a tough crowd? Damn, that shit crazy. I don't know, that's it's random, like, cause anytime I ever go viral for shit or like anytime some shit happen, like, I never was like trying to go viral or make a video. You yeah. know how people make videos and they go good? Like, I just be doing some shit and it just, and I think that shit just kept happening and the niggas like, ah, oh, this nigga cool for real. Yeah. So, yeah. Hey man, St. Louis is breaking through, man. Y'all got you the sexy red then broke through it and really shined the light on the city. And we're seeing that a lot of artists are taking advantage of, you know, St. Louis being in the spotlight. What's the music scene like in St. Louis? Are the artists supporting each other? Are they working with each other? Is it, you know, like, cause Atlanta, we so used to seeing shit, it's, it's small. We run into people. So yeah. everybody fuck with everybody. What is, what is that? Yeah, what is St. Louis like in I that don't, aspect? At the per this very right now moment, I don't live in St. Louis, but Anytime, like, I'm seeing how, you know, everything coming out and, like, all the new shit and artists that I'm finding out about, it's like, damn, like, it's a different type of nigga every time. You feel me? Like, you got Sessa Red, then you got, like, me, and this is Shorty Night, um, like, Blakey Yana or something like that. Sessa just did a song with him. Yeah. But it's a lot of artists just, just hard, you feel me? Jordan Ward, he from St. Louis, and he an R&B artist, but he hella hard, you feel me? Like, Sessa been co-signing him and shit, you feel me? So, I think... I think everybody be in their own world, like when they make it, like the people that make it out the loop be in their own world with it more so than being like, you feel me? Yeah. It's a, Cause everybody got their own sound, different dynamic and shit like that. So yeah, St. Louis a little different. Now, you know, St. Louis had his own dance movement for the longest too. Yeah, Give sure. us an update on that. They they still hitting it in St. Louis. I mean, nigga from nigga St. Louis gonna hit chicken the- Chicken head, whatever. Yeah, nigga gonna hit the mono. It ain't, the, it ain't the chicken head, it's called the monastery for real. Like this monastery. Is, it's really the monastery, yeah. Cause that's the club that they start doing it at. Yeah. I yeah. know. Oh uh, yeah, you know. Oh, about you that. know I know. <laughs> I've been across that bridge. It really go, it's the Nina Pop, but most you know what definitely I'm all that shit. Shout out to the whole nine. Yeah, whole nine. Are uh, you here? <laughs> Come here, dirty. Let me highlight you. Yeah. All that. That's this that's, that's what ski is. Like real shit. That's hard. Like St. Louis turn. That's why I love says she be just saying St. Louis shit and that shit be going platinum. You know how I knew she was raised around some old ass ladies. <laughs> what? Se I'm gonna tell y'all how I knew Sexy Red was raised around some old ass ladies. When she said, "My son need a new pappy," <laughs> that let me know right then, cause don't young people don't even know what a pappy is. <laughs> That's that Bernie Mac. Yeah, I had a pappy. <laughs> I had a pappy. <laughs> man, what you got coming up next, man? What can we look forward to you? look forward, you know, to in the future because 23 almost over. Yeah, this shit crazy. It's a wrap. It's, it's, it came and went so fast. So what, how you closing out the year? How yeah. you gonna start off the top of 24? Bro, I'm trying to, like, branch out to other shit outside of music on some business shit. So I've been just on my business, man, shit, like all those shit I don't want to talk about necessarily right now, but, like, I want to, like, be partnering with companies and, like, making my company go up more, too. But... Musically, I got more. I'm going right back to the studio, obviously. We're going to do some more shit. Keep going. Man. That's what's up, yeah. man. You know how um, Los was talking about how social media has showed you so much love, even from the beginning, and you popping on there. But do you, as a new artist or artist in the game, feel the pressure nowadays to create music for it to pop on social media? Or do you think about the club? Or do you think about, like, where do you come from or draw the inspiration? Like, I wanted to pop here or I needed to go there. Or do you just create what you like? Nah, yeah, I, I just I just be trying to do what I like, but on some real shit, like, I'm aware. Like, I'm aware that there's certain type of sounds that people like. So I think I'm naturally, like, drawn to shit. Because I like the shit, too. I like the shit everybody like. We are, it's a reason everybody like it. I like the shit, too. So I be like, I, I will implement that shit in my own way. And I'm also just, like, a nigga, so that come off when I'm being artistic and all that shit, you feel me? So, yeah. Bro, I'm gonna call your bluff and I'm gonna have some snap beats sitting over there to you from some authentic snap producers that I know. Try me. I bet. Yeah, Say less. Y'all yeah. heard it here first. This is a, a Backwoods Backstage Lounge exclusive. We about to bring 
the SNAP movement back. Yeah. I saw you over there earlier with them boys from Earth Gang, and I know they'll they'll go crazy on some <laughs> shit. Come on. Olu, what's up? Hey. <laughs> but them boys on another I'm level, bro. They came on the show and talked some good shit with me, too. That's why we looking forward to getting you on the 85 South show, man. Nah, hell yeah, I watch this shit all the time, my nigga. But it's, it's only right that we make some history, bro. I said, I was like, y'all y'all remind me, y'all being together, y'all probably hear this, but like, y'all remind me of the king of comedy. Man, we preach, like, that's like, a huge compliment. Cause y'all niggas like together, and y'all actually funny. You feel me? That's the determining Real shit. factor. Right. Real shit. <laughs> Not actually part. funny. <laughs> yeah, Real man. shit. Well, look, we really appreciate you stopping through the Backwoods Lounge and, and just keeping us up to speed of what's going on. We got a gang of people watching this right now. If oh, they have lie. not heard of Smino, where would you tell them to start? If you had to give them one song to start with, what would you tell them? Uh, I'd say, go listen to Wild Irish Roses. Yeah. Wild Irish sure. Rose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure. Well, look here, man. We can literally do this all night. We ain't gonna hold you no longer. And we gotta go catch a few performances, too. Oh, uh, yeah, you feel me? I'm about to go see Tim's. Man, you know I'm trying to get you over here. Yeah, oh, go you gonna sing. be singing with I'm him, too? I'm about to be singing, bro. I bet. Gotta see, she might have that Janet Jackson effect yeah, where thugs be out here crying. <laughs> Oh, God. Look here, man. We appreciate you stopping through here. Yeah, 85 boy. South Show, Backwoods, Backstage Lounge. Bree Renee, straight from the A. I'm out. We out. Hey, man, we out of here.